The Stroud Public Library was first established in the East Side School in 1907. Between 1912 to 1996, it moved a few times until its current location was established at the Southwestern Bell Building when the City of Stroud purchased this location. On April 28, 2013, it was designated a literary landmark to honor Wilma Elizabeth McDaniel. Welcome back, Poe fans, to on the road with Carmen. We are in Stroud, Oklahoma at the corner of 3rd and 7th Street. We are at the Stroud Public Library. You kind of probably wonder why are we here? What does this have to do with Edgar Allan Poe? Well, interestingly enough, there was the Oki poet named Wilma McDaniel. She was born December 22, 1918. She lived here, she lived in Lincoln County and also Creek County in Oklahoma until 1936 when her sharecropper father moved the whole family to California. And she lived most of the rest of her life in Tulare and passed away there. She wrote a poem about Edgar Allan Poe, which I will read here in just a little bit. But they in Stroud decided to put a plaque because of her importance to Oklahoma and the writings that she did that she started when she was just a child. And so they put a plaque right here dedicating to the Oki poet, Wilma McDaniel. Born near Stroud, Wilma Elizabeth McDaniel attended schools in Lincoln and Creek counties. She felt wrenched from her home in 1936 when her family migrated to California where she became known as the Oki Poet. Anthologized in American working class literature, her poetry reveals an appreciation for everyday people and her deep love for Oklahoma, friends and family. She sent some of her books and papers to this library for preservation. The Friends of Libraries in Oklahoma dedicated this plaque to her April 28, 2013. Edgar Allan Poe in Oklahoma by Wilma Elizabeth McDaniel In the fine weather of ten I read his poems for myself, barefoot bald as I could be, facing down every crow. It was so different on dark and windy nights. His poems came and read themselves to me. Burrowed beneath a patchwork quilt, I shook with terror when a lattice worked loose and slammed against the house. I thought for certain it was a raven, tapping there forevermore. <laughs>